Hello, Daniel Betancourt here with Team Betancourt. Today I'm going to be showing how to do a quick search for sold properties similar to a subject property. So if you're looking, trying to establish a home value for a home, you would usually look for homes that have recently sold nearby with similar features and of similar size. So I'll show how to do that. Uh, firstly, we're going to be looking at this property address, 8426. Banyan. There's one match down here. We're doing an MLS search, so we're looking at active listings, and this is the specific home I'm looking into right now. So 8426 Banyan Boulevard is listed for $384,900. It is 1,951 square feet, and it has a pool and it's in the Sand Lake Hills community. So that's what I'm looking for, home similar to that one. <clears throat> so I'm gonna create a new search by going up here, hovering over search. I'm going to click quick. Now I want to look for homes within one mile. Over here it says within one mile. I'll change that to that, within one mile of the property address, 8426. Banyan. It'll sense the address and offer this one as the recognized option. So homes within one mile of that address, there's 45 matches. Now I want to change this over here, private pool. I want to change this to yes. So we've just knocked it down from 45 to 21. Now I'm going to go in the square footage. I'm going to say Mm, 1800 to 2200. So I'm giving a square foot range, 1800 to 2200, and there are two. These are two for sale right now. One of them I know is Banyan. So I'm going to be changing this to sold properties because I want to see what's sold. And now I see that 15 homes have sold. I want to make sure they're all single family residences. And so we have 15 homes that have sold or are active within one mile of Banyan. Now I want to also just check in on pending, see if that adds any more. So these are homes between 1800 and 1800 square feet and 2200 square feet and homes with pools. And now we can check the results and click in results there on the bottom left. And these are all of the homes that have sold within a mile. Now I see lots of them are in Sand Lake Hill. So what I'd like to do is narrow the search and make it homes that are all in Sand Lake Hill. So I'm going, going back to the criteria. I can leave this one mile radius here and for legal subdivision, I'm going to say Sand Lake Hills. Now we have seven. So there are seven homes. One of them is our listing on Banyan. And then one, two, three, four, five, six of them are homes that have sold in the last six months. So these are, these are all homes that have sold pretty recently. Now, as I scroll across here, I'm looking at sold price per square foot. These homes all sold between 169 and 184 per square foot. We're, we're listed at 197 per square foot. So this, this price is a little higher than all of the other ones that have sold. So it's, it's showing that it's a little bit overpriced. So what I want to do is I can create a document by highlighting all of these. I'm going to check this box up here, which checks them all. Now I'm going to click on this button down here that says Quick CMA. And when I click Quick CMA, When I click Quick CMA, it's going to break everything down into a form that shows it all and compares everything, gives me an average. 
another way that it can uh, another way that I can do this is by highlighting highlighting them all as I've done here. And instead of clicking Quick CMA, I can click Stats. By clicking Stats, it gives me the option to click Tabular. And now these are the tabular statistics for the homes that have sold. So we have one active listing on the list. This one is. 384,900, it's listed for $197 per square foot. Of the ones that have sold, they have sold for sold price, SP per square foot, they've sold on average $175.93 per square foot. That's been the average so far. The highest one sold for $184 per square foot. We're listed at $197 per square foot, which is 13% higher than the highest one that has sold. So this one, the highest one that sold, it's it was actually listed at $184.61 when it's sold. So I'm just going to do math with my calculator. And I'm going to say, if our listing of 1,951 square feet were to sell at 184.61 per square foot, then the total amount is 360,174. So that's, that's what, more or less, based on the highest sale per square foot, what this home of 1,951 square feet would be worth. Now to land there, we can list a little bit higher, but that's what the highest sale has sold for. So just wanted to share that, and I'm going to post this on YouTube for anyone that this can help. Thanks.